How's it going guys? I am Panda. Welcome back to the channel and to another Escape from Tarkov video. This time around we're looking at some guns you can put together with level 1 traders, nothing else. These should help you out when you're grinding the levels to the flea market or when you're working on leveling up your traders until you unlock some of the juicier attachments and can start putting together some of the more meta builds. These are what I use at lower levels. One of them you can probably guess what it's going to be. There are four in total but one I've featured in a video previously on the channel. Uh, I love them all for different reasons i'll go through that i'll tell you how much they cost what the builds are what the attachments what ammo you need and you should be set so let's dive into it so kicking things off we have you probably guessed this one we have the old faithful op sks which is the hunting rifle version, the OPSKS, you need to get that one and not the normal SKS so you can put a scope on it or a sight on it. It's available from Jaeger level one for 33,197 rubles. If you don't have Jaeger unlocked, I've done a guide on how to unlock him. There's a quest you need to complete to unlock him. I'll leave a card at the top of this video so you can go and view that, unlock him, and then come back here and build this gun. It's not really a build. You're only going to put a sight on it. It's a simple one, uh, but you're going to purchase the OP SKS from Jaeger level one for 33,197 rubles. And then on that, we are going to either put, there are two sight options that I'm recommending, one for long range, one for medium range, I wouldn't recommend using an SKS for really, really close combat. Oh yeah, you, you probably could, but there are better guns out there for that. So you want to go to Prapor and then you're going to choose either between the PSO 4x24 scope. This is for long range. That'll just attach straight onto the SKS or you're going to use the, where is it? The Axiom Cobra EKP-802 reflex sight, which is dovetail mounted. So it's already got this bit that sticks down the side that will allow you to attach it straight onto the OP OPSKS without having to buy any mounts or anything like that. So you can literally, you can see I've got it here. There are the two sites that I mentioned. You can just drag and drop them on. You could even take both of them into a raid and switch them up for the situation, whichever one you need for whatever situation situation you're in. The ammo we're going to use is 762 by 39 PS GZH hammer ammo, which in my opinion is one of the best, if not the best, level one trader available rounds in the game. It will easily rip through up to level three armor and it will comfortably deal with level four armor although it might take a few more shots to get that penetration uh, this is the cookie cutter basic round that a lot of people recommend and i love it as well it, you'll you'll easily carry you to level 15 to get that flea market unlocked if you want to use just the sks it's cheap and it does the job use it and let me know what you think in the comments. So moving on to gun number two, this one isn't so much a build, you don't really mod the weapon, but the PPSH, which is available from Prapor level one for, I've got it written down here, 26,599 rubles, a bargain. It's got a really high fire rate. The ammo we're gonna recommend, that I'm gonna recommend is the LRMPC ammo, which is available from Jaeger level one for 72 rubles around. That has got flesh damage, so you, it's got it spreads for flesh damage so it's kind of leg meta you're going to aim for people's legs aim for people's arms aim for their stomach if it's not protected and the the fire rate and this ammo you will be surprised how quickly it can drop people if you hit them in the right areas this gun's really fun to use the fire rate is ridiculous you can get drum mags for it once you've leveled up a bit these ones are available the 35 rounders are available from prap or level one as well for like two and a half thousand rubles two thousand eight hundred rubles uh, this is a gun that I come back to every now and then because I find it really fun. Load one of these up with this ammo and go in factory and let me know what you think of it. It's good fun. All of the SMGs in Tarkov are fun at the moment. It's probably my preferred way to play the game. Uh, it's not very often you have situations that allow it, but when it does, when I go into factory, using an SMG is too much fun. Try it out and let me know what you think. 
Okay, so moving on to gun number three. This is the VPO136 Vepa KM, which is available from Skier Level 1 for 33,000 rubles, 32, 33,000 rubles, or you can try two horse figurines for it. Um, which if you don't have flea market you may not have them but if you do have flea market this is still a viable gun to use once you've got flea market unlocked you can probably get that for cheap if you get the horse figurines it'll be less than 33,000 I'm not sure how much they're going for at the moment but anyway we're going to mod this gun slightly so this is a standard Vepa KM this is as it comes we're going to change the, the shopping list I'll put a shopping list off on the screen now you're going to need a bastion dust cover an AK100 handguard uh, I like to use the PK06 reflex sight, it's small and compact. And then I've got two different foregrip options. The RK6 will give you a bit of recoil reduction and some ergonomics. And then the KAC vertical foregrip, that will give you more ergonomics but no recoil reduction. This is a single shotgun, so I don't value recoil reduction as much. You can pop off rounds quite quickly, so it's up to you. Try each one and see what you think. I usually use the KAC vertical grip. So to build this, you're just gonna get the standard Vepa KM and you're just gonna remove the rear sight remove the dust guard and remove the hand guard once all those things are removed you can just drag the bastion on drag the new hand guard on drag the foregrip of choice on and then the pk06 you can use other reflex sights or uh, red dot sights whatever whatever you want i'd prefer that one the wolfer mrs i kind of like that one sometimes as well but the pk06 is decent the magazines are also available from Prapple level one let me double check that for you the magazines yeah Prapple level one 1922 rubles uh the attachments i'll run through them quickly i will put it up on the screen but you've got the the ak100 handguard is Prapple level one for 1400 rubles the foregrip you've got the kac which is peacekeeper level one for 26 dollars and then you've got the zenit rk6 which is skier level one for 7200 rubles and then the dust cover comes from level one skier for 6300 rubles i've got a price list up on my other monitor that's why i keep looking and finally the reflex site that pk06 is level one jaeger which is 8400 rubles and then this is the same ammo as the op sks so this ammo slaps it's good it's cheap it's 70 or 95 rubles around from prapple level one the magazines also from prapple level one fill them up with ps Go into raid and start one tapping people you'll see you can one tap scavs if people are wearing crappy armor you may one tap them it's a relatively accurate gun so you might just get some one tap headshots play around with it get used to it as with any gun in tarkov you need to play with it a bit and get used to how it feels and stuff try some offline range raids with it maybe you to get comfortable with it but this gun i use it quite regularly it's cheap it, it feels nice the ammo is semi-decent for when you've got no access to anything else the ammo is brilliant once you get higher tier ammo then it kind of comes becomes a bit obsolete but if you're ever down on your luck if you've got the flea market unlocked already and you don't have any rubles you, your stash is empty this is the gun that i'll fall back on this or the OP, opsks are the ones that just build my stash back up nice and quick that's gun number three let's have a look at gun number four okay gun number four this isn't a build again this is just a recommendation of mine for a gun to use at low level is the mosin i use the infantry carbine version which is the shorter barrel version than the non-carbine version which you get slightly better ergonomics and slightly worse recoil but it's single shot bolt action rifle so you're not going to be feeling the recoil in the same way you would if you were using a fully automatic weapon um, this ammo 76254 rlps ammo absolutely slaps you can buy it from prapor it's prapor level one i'm sure it is yeah prapor level one 319 rubles around it owns it's a bit more expensive than the other ammo that i've mentioned but you'll shoot less of it in a bolt action gun and it really really rips through ammo you'll drop people you'll be surprised the gun feels powerful i like the feel of a mosin it's kind of an iconic weapon i've used it in lots of games and it feels probably the best in tarkov out of any game that i've used it in uh, the gun, forgot to mention how much that is, the gun is available from level 1 Prapple for 34,000 rubles, which that's pretty cheap, it looks iconic, you can get 
when you uh, go up a bit, level up a bit, and you've unlocked some stuff, you can get a sniper rifle version of it, and you can mod it out a bit with the Archangel stuff. But we're just using the standard one. So just you just buy the gun, buy the ammo. You don't need to buy any magazines. You just load it straight into the chamber, the same way as you do with the OPSKS. Just put the rounds in your pockets, load them in as, as and when you need them, and go and drop some people in raids because it's a really powerful gun and it will hurt and that's it for the video guys they are four guns that i like to use when i'm low level in tarkov at the beginning of a wipe or after a profile reset uh, there was one gun build some of the other was just recommendations but try them out in the game let me know what you think in the comments leave a like on the video if you found this helpful that would really help me out and i'd really appreciate it and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more escape from tarkov content guides that sort of stuff i've got a few other games in the pipeline we're going to be putting out some variety content coming up soon so subscribe if you want to see some more of that and i will catch you in the next video take it easy look after yourselves see you later